Hey, Mike here again. Uh, this is a tutorial in UDK for in checkpoints on levels, generally for like longer levels, or if you don't want the player to be annoyed by going right back to start. Uh, basically, create a tin box with walls, three lights in the areas. First section has nothing in it, second section has two boxes. This is just for identifying purposes. Third section has three boxes, simple as. Uh, down here, this box, which is lower. Um, it's a kill zone. Uh, you just get a red builder brush, put it around your level, um, and go down here. Right click this button, go down here to UT kill Z volume. Um, it basically sets an area, so if the player hits it, they die. They so said they just don't fall off the edge of all infinitely, um, so that would be annoying. Um, so, yeah, checkpoints. Uh, you right click, you add player starts. Uh, this will be the initial, the primary player start where the player will. Spawn as the games and level is loaded. Uh, this will be the player start, which will be active after the first checkpoint is touched. Um, and then the third one goes there. Uh, now we accidentally move it now. F4 on the player starts and turn off enabled and primary start. Um, and that one as well. We leave the first one enabled and as prime start, obviously. Makes sense. Um, now we take a red builder brush and we create two trigger volumes where we want the checkpoints to become active. So I want one there, and I also want one here. Ta da! Now we simply just go into Kismet with the first trigger volume selected. And we do an event using trigger volume touch. Uh, now we want to create a two toggle actions. So new action, toggle, toggle. Uh, hold T and click and it will just create one. Quite a useful thing. Uh, we want to link touch with turn on and then out on to turn off. We then want to select the checkpoint, the plus start that we want to become active. And we create a new object variant or variable using player start eight apparently. Why shouldn't it be like ten? Strange. Uh, then we select this player start, the one we want to turn off, which will be the first one. And we link target the second toggle to that. Now I'm going to quickly just create the second checkpoint. Might be a second. Bear with me. Um, we want this one to become active. I don't know why I'm just Touched on, ooh, touched on, touched. Very nice. Um, and then the one we want to turn off, which is that one. Oh, no, that, that's what we want. There we go. Sorry, I had a blank. I had a bit of a daydream going on there. Uh, that is literally it. We want to be already got light in and light mask turned off. I was prepared for this one. Ooh. And yeah, so um. Nothing here. If I die here, I should just spawn and start again. Magical. Um, trigger volume will be here. And the plus start should be active now. T minus C. Very nice. What am I doing? Uh, second trigger volume should be right here. So three bucks if we die. We appear here. Lovely jubbly. Thanks for your time, and uh, I'm going to kill myself for a while now. See you later.